Hi, my name is Jesper Helbey. I'm a level designer and this is the developer walkthrough of a puzzle game I made for Unreal Engine 4. I will talk about the design process and workflow through the development. At the end of the video, I will present my final thoughts and what I would like to implement in the future. For this project, I wanted to mainly focus on the scripting using Blueprint, the visual scripting language for Unreal Engine 4. So I decided to make the visuals very simplistic. When I first started out, I didn't have a clear vision of what I wanted to do. I know that I wanted to create a puzzle game of some sort, but not what kind of puzzles. I took inspiration from Super Mario 3D World and came up with an idea of a platformer where the player has to jump on big buttons to activate them based on a segment in the game. The player can toggle the buttons from red to yellow. Once all buttons have been switched to a yellow state, they all turn green. I then added background music, some minor sound feedback for when the player activates or deactivates platforms and another sound for when a puzzle is clear. After I was done with the basic logic for the buttons, I started to play around with Matinee, an animation tool in Unreal Engine 4. I wanted to reward the player with an interesting introduction to every new puzzle, so I made an animation for a wall that opens up leading to the next puzzle. The second puzzle is more of a platformer. When a player jumps on a button, more will appear from below. I wanted to make some jumps a bit more challenging, giving players more incentive to pay more attention for the potential outcome of death. To prevent backtracking, in case the player were to make a mistake, I created a checkpoint system that spawns the player back at the beginning of the current puzzle. The current puzzle also resets if the player will fail. When the second puzzle is clear, the player is rewarded with a cinematic introduction to the third puzzle. Here, the player is introduced to the blue buttons. When a blue button is pressed, it deactivates or deactivates all adjacent buttons. This puzzle is not as straightforward like the others and can be a bit tricky. The introduction to the third puzzle was done using matinee. Every cube was animated by hand and I learned some tricks using the slow-mo track to enhance the effect when every cube is forming a bigger platform. At the time of recording this video, the third puzzle is the final and the game itself doesn't have a proper ending. If future iterations would occur, I would like to make another type of button that can only be activated once and then, if the player wants to revert its state, the player needs to press another button before the first button can be pressed again. I would also like to add moving platforms and add more puzzles using the existing mechanics already in place. And of course, make a proper ending in the same way that I made the introduction to the third puzzle. I had a lot of fun making this puzzle game, and it felt very satisfying when a feature worked as intended. I wanted to add more, 
but I had to stop somewhere and call it done. These kinds of puzzles could be implemented in other types of games that are more fast paced, like Unreal Tournament. Having the player push three buttons in a sequence to open up a secret door leading to an awesome weapon, or even shoot buttons in the correct order. This concludes my video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, and if you want to check out my other works, visit my portfolio. If you want to download this puzzle project, just follow the link below. Thank you for watching!